The Nicene Creed summarizes important Bible doctrines that separate orthodoxy from heresy. For consistency, let's quote the public domain, King James Bible. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all, and will be a father to you, and you'll be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved and your house. The only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds or ages, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. God of light, light of light, God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Then spoke Jesus again to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Very God, very God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Begotten, not made. No man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. Being of one substance with the Father, I and my Father are one. By whom all things were made, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Who for us men and for our salvation? Who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth? For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. Came down from heaven, and no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man who is in heaven. He that comes from above is above all. He that's of the earth is earthly, and speaks of the earth. He that comes from heaven is above all. He was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary. Then said Mary to the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also that holy thing, which shall be born of you, shall be called the Son of God. And was made man, and the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And was crucified also for us, under Pontius Pilate. And so Pilate, willing to content the people, released Barabbas to them, and delivered Jesus, when he had scourged him, to be crucified. He suffered and was buried, and he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders, and of the chief priests, and scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures. 
For he taught his disciples and said to them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they'll kill him. And after that he's killed, he'll rise the third day. And descended into heaven. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And sits at the right hand of the Father. So then after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And he'll come again with glory. And then they'll see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. To judge both the living and the dead. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Whose kingdom will have no end. For so an entrance shall be ministered to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And we believe in the Holy Spirit. But the Comforter, who is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he'll teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I've said to you. The Lord and giver of life, who also has made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. It's the Spirit that quickens. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are Spirit and they are life. Who proceeds from the Father? The Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, He will testify of me. And the Son. This is known as the Filioque from Latin and added by Western churches to the original creed, but rejected by Eastern churches. But when the Comfort has come, whom I will send to you from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lighting upon him, and lo, a voice from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Who spoke by the prophets? which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men, as it's now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. And we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Now therefore you're no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together grows to a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are builded together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And we look for the resurrection of the dead, If there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also in vain. And the life of the world to come, and in the world to come, eternal life. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. The Nicene Creed separates Orthodox believers from heretics. What do you believe? You decide. <laughs>